Mm-hmm. Um, all right. I don't want to talk about Injustice anymore. Let's move on Great. to... <laughs> multi- no, we got more new releases. <laughs> oh, we do? Oh. All right. Yeah. What else? Um, the Surge came out. That's We saw this game at E3 last year. This is the uh, game where it's kind of like Dark Souls, but it's like kind of dystopian future and you're pounding on robots and taking their parts and making oh, new weapons. Yeah. I remember that vaguely. Um, it's it's by the the guys who did uh oh man, I'm gonna print the name of it. Le- Legends no, it's not Legends of the Fall. It's not that. <laughs> that that is a Brad Pitt movie. <laughs> right. Not the Brad Pitt movie. I don't know well I can't confirm whether or not they worked on the Brad Pitt movie or not. Right. You but, don't know. Um, yeah, everyone starts somewhere. Lords of the Fallen, sure. The the Viking Dark Souls game. Oh, okay. Um, so they they have some pedigree here. It's been getting uh, good reviews with the the Dark Souls type players. Mm-hmm. It just looks it looks too hard to be enjoyable to me, but. I liked, I saw like when we were watching it at E3 last year, and that was early. I mean, that's almost a year ago now. I could tell that it it had something. Like it was interesting to look at the the whole like upgrade system of like taking a robot's leg um, was interesting. So I don't know. If you're into those type of games, like Cheapy is. <laughs> The Surge. Mm. Cheapy, if you want to give this game a shot, just let me know. I can help, I One can game that Cheapy could give a shot, because he has the PSVR. And th- this has been the big uh, the big game. Oh, it's out. Our point. It is out. I didn't even know that. Who knew that? <laughs> oh. Did it get reviewed anywhere? Uh, it did. Let's see. It, it got reviewed several places. 70. It's, uh, yep. Hmm. IGN Italia gave it an 87. Eight point seven. Italians love to shoot people. Yeah. So this is the one that has the gun, right? Like the real yeah, gun. Yeah, this is the one with the, mm-hmm. with the gun. They, they, the similar gun to what they had last time, right? Like I have one. I had the one the first time they did this with the move. <laughs> uh, right. Like I don't, I don't understand. We, they've, they've done it again. They, they successfully strapped some move controllers in a gun shaped piece of plastic. Hmm. Well, IGN says, gave it the normal IGN, not the freak Italian IGN, gave it a 7.5. And they said, it's despite its predictable and unsatisfying story and hard to ignore bugs, it's a full-fledged sci-fi shooter that feels fantastic to play with Sony's high-quality PSVR aim controller. Interesting. Because another review I was, was glancing at earlier said it was more like a proof of concept. Huh. So that's, that's two very different reviews. Um but yeah, I saw a commercial for this actually, like on ESPN or something. And, and I was surprised that it was, first of all, that there was a commercial for it. And second, <laughs> right. second that it was, it was out. Um, yeah. It seems like you can buy PSVR now in stores. Like, oh yeah. Easily. Yeah. All, always. Cool. So, it, I mean, you have one of these things. How much? Uh, it's only fifty bucks, and you get the gun, or you got to pay extra mm. for the gun. What's up with That's that? That's a good question. I better look that up immediately. If, I if need to only know. there was a website that sold video. There games. was. Uh, oh, it's mm, no. It, it looks like the well. It looks like the gun is sold out. Every is sold out. Um, but you could buy the game for fifty dollars. They didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> that seems lame. Yeah, what's up with that? Bundle. I don't know. Yeah, it's sending me to third parties. All right, well, I guess, what do they make, like 10 guns? Were they doing that thing? All right, well, oh, well. I guess I'm not going to try it. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, no, here we go. Uh, you can get it from Best Buy right here. Okay. And it's How only, much is the gun? It's, uh, it's 80 bucks for the bundle. And uh, it's only 64 after uh, GCU. It almost seems like you have to do it at that point, right? I do have like you're, $15. You're ordering it as we speak. I do have $15. I, I, I look forward to your uh, impressions next week. And when I say $15, I mean $20. Yeah. 
Look at me. Look at me go. I, I this I I would be interested in your. I don't want it. Your thoughts on this? Don't make me play it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing uh, another new release, Seasons After Fall. Okay. This uh, is a two D. Well, not two D. I guess it's a it's a two D platformer. I guess is that the, the game with the fox? That's the game with the fox. All right. You you play as orbs that uh, kind of possess this fox, and so then essentially you're playing as the fox, and it's a Metroid style game a little bit. Um, you have different. Early on in the game, you go and you get the four different powers of the seasons. So you can change the season. So winter obviously turns everything cold and icy. Uh, spring makes it rain. So then you can solve puzzles that that need you to like fill Use something water. up with water or put out fire. Um, so so forth like that. Um, it's it's an interesting concept. It's a really pretty game to to look at. They're just so far there haven't been any like enemies or anything. I don't know if the whole game is like that, <coughs> but I, it gets a little sleepy just solving the solving the puzzles. And I find like the the jumping controllers are the momentum on them just doesn't like feel very like nice. You can, you can, it's like not totally bad, but. I find like if you miss a jump and then you have to like go change between three different seasons to get back to that, that jump again and solve this puzzle. It seems, I don't know. It seems a little bit not worth it, but I don't know. It's, it's not bad. It's not great. I, I'll play it for a little bit longer at least just to see if anything changes with it. What's the, what's Um, the scheme called again? Seasons after fall. It's it's the game that uh, Mrs. Shipwreck says sounds like a menopause product. <laughs> Why didn't they just call it Winter? Um, maybe there's more play there. I see. It's it could be fall might not necessarily be the season. Oh, I, oh, I don't know. deep. There, there's these orbs that are talking. It seems like maybe there's some this other orb that's getting me to do this stuff might not be all on the up and up. I don't know. All righty uh, then. Then I also played a little bit of Portal Knights. Are you familiar with this game at all? No. Is it Portal but with Knights? It is Minecraft, but an RPG. So kind of kind of basic looking graphics. You're uh you can choose between either a warrior, uh a ranged archer, or a wizard. And you are destroying trees to get pieces of tree to build your stuff and there's creatures around that you kill and you get quests and you level up and you get experience points. Um, it's, it's co-op, but I think it's only co- online co-op. It's, it's not bad. It's not, it's not as like, I don't know, expansive as what a Minecraft would be, but it at least has some, goals to it i like the structure of what they're doing um so i don't know it's out it's out now and also minecraft for switch is out and also minecraft for switch i bet that does okay yeah it's supposed to be pretty good i mean that minecraft yeah I've heard, I've, <laughs> i mean the switch version okay People well i mean content. the tablet versions of that game are pretty good so right i agree uh, anything else Mm, that looks like most of the new releases. There's a new Cooking Mama game out for the 3DS. Good oh. for Cooking Mama. Mm-hmm. She keeps on looks going. Looks like she's she's cooking some sweets this time around. She's a good cooking mama. Mama Sweet Shop. Thanks, Cooking Mama. Have you checked oh. out Elliot Quest, Wombat? <laughs> I saw the name of the game. That's all I need to do. 